Why Bangladesh's capital will be the world's largest metropolis? I don't know. There might be a lot of people there, but there might be big population and economic growth. Eh, probably not. Eh. It's probably just that it happens to be infested with tigers. Yeah, just so <laughs> many dang tigers. We're gonna bring up tigers in every single video. <laughs> we have to bring up tigers. Let's check this out. If you guys enjoy, make sure to subscribe. Check out the Travel Vlog channel. We've been traveling in Asia, Southeast Asia mostly. We've been over to Bangladesh's neighbors in India as well, if you want to check out our videos there. Link in the description for that. Let's just jump right into this. Here we go. This is Dhaka, the capital mm. city of Bangladesh, and it is one of the biggest cities ever in the entire world. It is even called a mega city, considering how big it is. Several predictions have even concluded that Dhaka will be the world's largest metropolis by 2025, along with Tokyo, really? Shanghai, Beijing, Mexico City, and New York City. 2025 what very makes soon. Dhaka stand out isn't how big, but how fast it grew and how important it's going to be toward the future. The country's capital is well known to be one of the fastest growing megacities. Its population more than tripled in the last 30 years, with 500,000 people migrating each year. This That's then insane. turned Dhaka from a measly small city to Bangladesh's financial and commercial hub, accounting for 35% of the entire country's economy. This oh. massive growth, however, is not all economically beautiful. In a city like Dhaka becomes so big, so fast, it often comes with challenges. It resulted in a city with varying problems. But some of the direst ones pose a threat to the overall livability and social inclusivity of the city. Environmental pollution, intense congestion, and poor urban services are just some of the many more problems. If all of these are left unattended, these problems would just end up... Riding on the back of the double-decker bus? My and gosh. ...and become a massive issue in the future. Thankfully, however, these are being met with solutions. The biggest solution the government has initiated is the construction of infrastructure. It has always been known that the capital has been laggard in infrastructure developments. It was a major constraint to the very growth of Bangladesh. According to experts, the country's infrastructure global ranking from 2016 to 2020 stood only at a rating of 2.3 out of 10, which makes it one of the lowest in the world. But in the next five years, from 2021 to 2025, the ratings are expected to jump to 4.5 out of 10. These okay. infrastructures will push the capital into becoming a world-class city, which will become a place filled with innovation and futuristic technology. Look at how big that airport is. You could like slide it over this entire downtown yeah, area. Through. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Some of the biggest initiatives fueling the economy of the capital are in the transportation sector. As a lot of cars continues to grow transporting tens of millions of people every day as the capital why does this look like my city skyline roads it is it's like a ton of roads stacked on top of each other and like most of them are just empty and then one intersection is just clogged to the nuts <laughs> continues to grow transporting tens of millions of people every day becomes essential if left alone it will become one of the biggest bottlenecks to the economy as traffic congestion are notorious for destroying economic activity the biggest transportation master plan fighting these issues is the Dhaka Chittagong High Speed Railway, a 220 kilometer project that is expected to be one of the country's biggest plans ever in its history. It will carry at least 50,000 passengers daily and is expected to be finished by 2030. Furthermore, the cost of the project stands at a whopping 11.4 billion US dollars. Eleven pocket the expansion of its international airport oh, yeah. has pocket also reached change. a major milestone. The Hazrat Shah Jalla International Airport will be constructed. Alright, say that name. Hazrat Shah Jalla. Pretty good. Terminal, which will cost 2.5 Not enough accent like him. Ah, sorry. This will help push the airport's passenger handling capacity rate to over 20 million. It's a pretty cool airport, actually. It reminds me of the inside of the Abu Dhabi Mosque. Mm. The Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi. Making Just no giant chandeliers. No, yeah. Big initiatives to help alleviate the congestions the capital is facing. As the economy grows further, the middle class of the capital grows as well, and demand for flights become the new norm for the people. Several more infrastructures are on the way, too much to mention in one video at least. In summary, the other bigger plans are the Dhaka Metro Rail, Dhaka Subway, and even energy power plants. These infrastructures will be the backbone of the rapid growth in the country. 
as it turns into a more transit-oriented place. The compact, connectedness, and resilience of the city and its people would further increase and result in much higher productivity rate and economic output, which then ends up resulting in further improvements to other types of endeavors. As long as they cool. do their part in transforming the city and its infrastructure, continuously combining different kinds of investments, then one day we will see Dhaka becoming a world-class economic major hub. Anyway, oh, the music. what do you think about Dhaka? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to leave a like. You know what I think of Dhaka? It's going to be so epic just because that music was epic, so I'm ready. I'm ready too. Interesting video. I mean, it's cool to see that Dhaka and Bangladesh are doing all these improvements and like the future is looking good for Bangladesh. Interesting to take a high-speed rail in Bangladesh. That'd be pretty. Hopefully nobody jumps on the back or on top of the yeah, high-speed rail. True. We see the videos of people riding on the trains in Bangladesh. Are they going to do that on top of a high-speed rail? They might not be able to play their guitar and eat no. their food up there. They're, like, ah! They're gone. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to check out our other Bangladesh videos. Check out our travel vlog channel. And uh, maybe sometime next year-ish, we'll be heading to Bangladesh. See some tigers.